Hi, my name is Bohad Rahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about how to construct the equation of the plane using the two vectors on this plane or using the three points on the plane. But before we proceed, I would like to just like talk, discuss about, hey, why we need one vector, two vectors in order to construct the lines or the planes. So let's say you are given a line and a vector on the line. So this one vector is enough to describe the line because we can reach any point on this line. For example, if I need to reach this point on the line, I would just like make this vector a little bit longer, right? And if I would need to reach this point here along this line, I would just make this vector like it just opposite to this side. So by just scaling one vector, we can reach any point on the line. So, so basically we say that in this case, that we can describe the line. Well, just one vector is not enough to describe a plane, it appears. So let's say you are given a plane and a vector on this plane. So let's say some vector u. And you see, so just one vector is not enough to reach any point. So I can just move this vector basically to this direction or to this direction, but I will never reach this point, for example, here. Or you can also see this situation like, hey, you've got a vector and you've got a plane. So you can't really hold this plane using this vector because now you see, so you can move this plane. So in order to hold the plane, you need just two vectors. So it appears, for example, if I would have another vector V, then I could hold this, this plane. So this plane would, would just be stable. Like, so if you have two vectors like this, so you can just like put this plane on the top of this. So it's, it's just not stable. You can't really move. So we need two vectors in order to describe the plane. At the same time, we say that, hey, two vectors is enough to reach any point on the plane. So we can reach any point on the plane using so-called linear combinations of the vectors, which we are going to discuss in one of our next videos. So today we are going to discuss the following topic. So let's say we are given a plane and we would like to find the equation of the plane, equation of this plane. And what we are given is three points on this plane. So one, two, three. So the A, B, and C points. So how to construct the equation of the plane. So previously we discussed that, hey, we need just one vector, or the normal vector to this plane, and at one point on the plane in order to construct the plane. So in order to construct the equation, vector equation of the plane. So now we are given two, three, three points. We can try to figure out what is the normal vector just using three points. What we can do is we can construct one vector here, Another vector here, so let's say this is going to be u vector and another vector is going to be v. We know how to construct the vectors with the starting point and the ending point. We just need to subtract the starting point from the ending point, that's it, right? So just using these two vectors, we can construct the normal vector to this plane, right? So this normal vector n is going to be the so-called cross product of the u to the v. Then that's it, so we are going to use one of the points and no normal vector in order to construct the equation of the plane. So I would like to give you just a small formula of finding the cross product, then we are going to do an example. So in order to find a cross product, okay, two vectors with the components u1, u2, u3, and v1, v2, and v3, we need to find the determinant of so-called matrix. Um, we are going to, of course, discuss the determinants. This is just an example of finding the equation of the plane using the three points. So on this, the, on this matrix, we need to construct this in, this in the following form. So to the first row, I'm going to call copy the unit vectors, i, j, k. To the second row, I'm going to copy the coordinates of the second, uh, the first vector, u1, u2, u3. To the third row, I'm going to copy the coordinates of the third vector, v1, or second vector, sorry, v2 and v3. So the determinant of this, uh, of this matrix is going to be a vector which is going to define uh, the normal vector. So this vector is going to be as orthogonal 
to you and me. Actually, this cross product is only works for the three dimensional case. Okay, so you, you, can, you can do this only in 3D. Whenever we are given the vectors in 2D or in 4D, this, this formula doesn't work. There is no cross product of the vectors. So whenever we are in 4D or in 3D or in any other dimensional rather than 3, we need to use a system of linear equations in order to construct the planes. But we are going to talk about this later on when we are going to deal with the systems of linear equations. So let's do an, ex an example. So let's say we are given two points or three points. A was the coordinates. A was the coordinates one minus two and three. B point was the coordinates four, zero, five. And the C coordinates is going to be simply the origin zero, zero, Z minus C. Okay, so let's let's just use this. So, so in order to construct the vectors using the two points, I need to subtract the starting point from the ending point. So this vector is going to be simply one minus t and three. And the another vector b is going to be b minus c. So in this case, it's going to be four, zero, five. And now in order to construct the normal vector, we just need to multiply those t vectors. The normal vector is going to be u cross v. So in this case, I'm going to construct the first of all the matrix and find its determinant. So i, j, k. Then on the second row, I'm going to put the coordinates of this vector u, 1, minus 2, and 3. On the third row, I'm going to put the coordinates of this vector, which is 4, 0, 5. So there are lots of formulas to find the determinant of this 3 by 3. In order to find the determinant of this matrix, we are going to use so-called cofactors method, and we are going to go through the first row. So it basically means that I need to go through the first row. I need to choose one of the elements here, I, for example, and I'm going to eliminate the row in the column where this I is located. And I'm going to find the determinant of the matrix, which is left. It's going to be minus two, three, zero, five. Okay. So minus J multiplied to the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating the row in a column where this J is located. It's going to be one, three, four, and five plus k, so multiplied to the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating the row in the column where the k is located. It's going to be 1 minus 2, 4, and 0. So there is a reason why here we are going to have a minus, not a plus, as they, in the case of the i and k, but we're going to discuss this when we are going to discuss about the cofactors method to find the determinants. So let's just find this now. So i is going to be equal to minus 10. So minus j is going to be equal to the 5 minus 12, and it's minus uh, 7, right? So 5 minus 12. So plus k is equal to the 1 minus minus 8. It's going to be a plus 8. So what we have here is the vector with the components. It's going to be minus 10, 7, and 8. And this is equal to the normal vector. So one of the ways to easily check whether the, this is the proper normal vector, to just multiply the n to one of the vectors. For example, if you multiply the n to the u, it should be equal to the zero since they are orthogonal. So minus 10, 7, and 8 times to the first vector u with the components like 1 minus t and 3, 1 minus t and 3. It's going to be equal, like a minus 10 times 1. It's going to be minus 10. 7 times minus t, it's going to be minus 14. 8 times 3, it's going to be plus 24. And this is equal to 0. At the same time, we can check whether this n is orthogonal to the second vector v. So the components of the second vector was 4, 0, 5. 4, 0, 5. If we multiply this, it's going to be minus 40 plus 0 plus 40. It is also 0. Well, this is a proper normal vector. So now we've got a normal vector in order to construct the, uh, the plane, we need to have one of the points. So let's choose one, the point A was the components like uh, one minus two and three, but you can choose any of the points and this is going to be the same, okay? So if you remember, it was like, so you need to have the X zero, right? So, oh, X zero and the normal vector was the components minus 10, 7, and 8. And the equation of the plane is going to be minus 10 times x plus 7 times y plus 8 times z. 
So all of them are coming from the normal vector is equal to the normal vector times to this point. So it's going to be minus 10, 7, and 8 times to the 1, minus 2, and 3, which is equal to the 0. So the equation of the plane is going to be minus 10x plus 7y plus 8z. So this is how we are going to obtain the equations of the planes using the three points or using the two vectors on the plane. Thank you.